you're getting to know a girl, everything's going great, smoothly, you're maybe initiating some physical contact and escalating the situation, moving in closer, stuff like that, and suddenly you find out that her friends and her have agreed that you are a creep. And this is like a situation that happens more often than you think. It doesn't necessarily have to be that exact case where you're trying to initiate physical contact. It could even be by you just doing your, like doing what you would normally do and it being perceived as creepy. So I was really thinking about it last night, really going deep into my thoughts on this situation. And I really wanted to make this video and come to a consensus of some sort on like, what this situation is and why uh, women nowadays are always referring to men as creepy and why men are being viewed as creepy. So first, I wanted to I wanted to go ahead and look up what creepy actually means. And this this might sound like redundant or whatever because we all know what it means. But if we as men are being described as a certain adjective I would want to look it up and see what it actually means so the dictionary definition here is causing an unpleasant feeling of fear or unease so obviously this could be like uh, viewed as something supernatural right you're creeped out by the supernatural because you don't know what's going on that's kind of like how girls feel when guys act creepy they don't necessarily know what their intentions are but it just feels uneasy to some extent, right? So, what I, what I realize is that women don't have strength to fight off men, right? Men are stronger than women. This is a fact of life. Everyone knows this. There's really little to no dispute on the issue. The average man is much stronger than the average woman. So... What can a woman do to really protect herself from unwanted contact? They can make the put up these barriers of creepiness and make it so men feel weird doing certain things and therefore just simply don't do them. But the thing is, right? Women men and women are supposed to like be intimate with one another. So Obviously, there is a disconnect happening between what is actually creepy and what people say is creepy, right? There's no way around that fact. And just jumping right in here, I wanted to I wanted to show you guys something. So cancel culture, right? Everyone knows what it is. It's it's like this thing that we have in our society nowadays where if you say, do, or act in one certain way, your whole career is ending. We've seen this countless times with many different comedians, many different politicians, and just regular people as well. That if you do something that is perceived to be canceled, then you are screwed. Like... There is very little that you can do to get out of the situation. And I think that this is part of the problem because these women, while they are feeling insecure and maybe a little creeped out about the situation, they don't address it head on. At least most of them don't. They gossip behind the back of the guy who they feel creeped out by. And then, like, there's no room for the guy to improve. Like... There's no uh, feedback given directly to the guy. And yes, while it might be hurtful, I would argue that would be much more be beneficial than talking behind someone's back and them having to hear that they were talked about by someone else and referred to as being creepy. Now, the reason that I believe that guys act creepy, right? Yeah, some of the times it is just cancel culture and fear of the unknown that causes girls to get creeped out. But I think that the main reason why guys act creepy around women is that they are nervous. 
Like, literally think about it. If you're nervous in a situation, you're very prone to acting like uncalibrated or um, unaware of your surroundings, right? Every time that I've been called out for something that I've done that might have been perceived as a little bit creepy or too far or something, it's because I wasn't aware of my surroundings in the way that all people should be aware. And like, like spatial awareness, let's see. Knowing where your body is in relation to other people, that is very important. So like, if you lack spatial awareness, you're gonna like have trouble with barriers because you don't really know where you are you're just kind of all over the place you have to be like cognizant of the fact that people are very prone to perceiving people as creepy nowadays and you just have to watch out for that because it's it's really really tough to get out of once you get pinholed as a creep and to fix like that nervousness Really, the only way to go about doing that is just to keep approaching and keep on interacting with girls. And eventually, you won't be viewed as a creep anymore because you won't be nervous. You'll be aware of your surroundings as you would be in a normal situation that wasn't making you feel nervous. And uh, yeah, like just remember, if you're feeling nervous, you're radiating nervous energy. So they're going to feel nervous and creeped out as well. And the, the best advice that I would give is that instead of like trying to flirt with the girl off the bat, I would just practice like straight up talking to the girl normally. Like if you feel nervous, don't do anything like ballsy or anything like that. Don't do anything that might be perceived as creepy because not doing enough is much, much better in this situation than doing too much. If you don't do enough, you know, what's the worst thing that can happen? They don't respond to your text when you eventually text them after getting their number. That's not a huge deal. Those experience points are racking up and you don't view yourself as a creep. The, the worst thing about being called a creep is that you start to feel like one and then you act in the same way that you've acted to... Uh, acquire that status because negative you know negative thoughts are sticky they're hard to they're hard to shake so just err on the side of caution with this one particular thing approach all the people who you want but ask them simple questions don't do anything that might be perceived as weird uh, I know that might sound contrary to what we've been toting on this channel about how I like, just be yourself but the truth is when you're being like when you when you're acting creepy in some way you're not really being yourself you're being like a watered down nervous version of the person that you could be and you're giving off a bad uh, impression to those around you and I think with that being said that's pretty much it for the video Yes, cancel culture is very much prevailing in our everyday life, like life in general. But we also, as guys, need to be aware of this and always be conscious of how we're making other people feel. You know, women have the luxury of not really ever needing to worry about this particular thing. Like, I've never heard of a girl making a guy feel creepy, at least not not in a while. So that is one luxury that women have. They don't necessarily have to deal with that, but they do have to deal with other things. But this is obviously a man's perspective, so I'm talking to you men out there. And with that being said, I think I'm gonna end it off here. I hope you took something from this video and found it helpful. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you all soon.